Israel and China are two nations seemingly from different worlds, both culturally and geographically. Yet for some reason, their relationship has emerged as one of the most talked about partnerships on the global stage. Back in 2017, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, also known at times as Bibi, had traveled to China for an official state visit, there meeting his counterpart Xi Jinping, whom he told that Israel can be a perfect partner for China in the high-tech industry. Since this moment of meeting, China and Israel have seen a surge in investments, tech collaboration, trade, and even arms, although the last part is a bit of a scandal we will touch on later. To truly understand the depth of the two countries' relationship, let us first address the history between the two. Then we will show you just how big of a partner China has become to Israel, which to some may even find it shocking. So to begin, let us dive deep into their bilateral relationship. China and Israel officially established diplomatic ties in 1992, but the relationship actually goes back further than that. According to a RAND report, the relations began to flourish in 1979, when businessman Saul Eisenberg helped form a meeting between the two sides, which resulted in the first of many deals to transfer defense technology from Israel to China. Over the next two decades from this meeting, the two nations' relations flourished. Military technology transfers between Israel and China totaled between $1 billion and $2 billion in more than 60 transactions. These transactions allegedly involved the technology to upgrade Chinese tanks, night vision, electronic warfare, Python 3 air-to-air -air missiles, fighter aircraft technology, and unmanned aerial vehicle technologies. It wanted to export to China so much so that when the U.S. pressured and canceled some Israeli arms exports to China, Israel tried to even lobby U.S. Congress so that it can sell the Falcon Advanced Airborne Radar System for surveillance planes, yet the deal still eventually collapsed. However, it is important to know that defense cooperation Operation wasn't the factor that connected the two. One of the most important backdrops of this relationship can be traced to Israel's support of the PRC. It was one of the few non-socialist countries to support the One China policy. Another dimension belonged to economic cooperation. Although defense relations dated way back in the 20th century, economic cooperation started in the 21st century. When Netanyahu visited Xi Jinping in 2017, they announced the establishment of a comprehensive partnership for innovation between the two countries. Subsequently, many foreign ministers praised Israel's high-tech economy. At one point in 2018, Wang Kishan stated that, quote, Israel leads the world in electronics, information technology, modern science, and agriculture. China is still striving to achieve modernization. This 2010s decade also saw huge amounts of investment flows from China to Israel. Some examples include China National Chemical Company's acquisition of Israeli agrochemical and crop protection company Adama in 2011 and China Bright Food Group's takeover of Israel's Tanuva food industries in 2015. In the technology field, Huawei had once bid for Israeli cybersecurity firm Hexatir to venture capital investments made by Ping An Ventures and China Broadband Capital into IronSource, an Israeli telecom company that offers digital content and technology for software developers and mobile carriers. According to several reports, Chinese companies' investment into high-tech Israeli entities rose from 18 in 2013 to 34 in 2017, and annual investments in startups from 2015 to 2017 was in the ranges of $500 million to $600 million, which was, in fact, 12% of all capital raised by Israeli startup during that period. Now, beyond tech and acquisitions, there is also one very big acquisition to understand. In 2021, a new port in the northern Israeli coastal city of Haifa was inaugurated. And this was not just any port. It was a port filled with promise, opportunity, and controversies. Let's start with the promise and opportunities. You see, this port was constructed because Israel needed to bring competition to a sector plagued by delays and to be able to boost the country's standing as a regional trade hub. Hence, they opened this 5.5 billion shekel or $1.7 billion port, which will finally enable larger classes of cargo ships carrying 18,000 containers or more to dock in Israel. The transportation minister, Mikhaili, stated that this port will accelerate trade and lower prices, which will eventually transition as a boom to the Israeli economy. That is the promise, but now we need to understand the pitfalls. The controversies surrounding this port are massive. But first, let's take a bit of a history class. Back in 2015, a company from China, sorry, not just any company, a state-owned company, won the tender to operate the commercial shipping facility for over 25 
recent years. This arrangement alone was already a huge controversy globally. The project was close to Israel's submarines, which was just one of the many issues as it raised security concerns. What was even more scandalous is that neither the cabinet nor the National Security Council had any input on the deal. The project also raised issues with the US, which sometimes docks military vessels in Haifa. It is even so important that Yitzhak Blumenthal, the CEO of the government-owned Israel Ports Company, called it, quote, one of the most important infrastructure projects for Israel's future. All of this falls in the hands of a state-owned enterprise. While this may seem surprising, you shouldn't limit the idea that China is solely operating a port. They are in various parts of the country's infrastructure. These include tenders to build and operate a private terminal in Ashdod, a key section of the Tel Aviv light rail system, and bidding to build additional lines. The former, Ashdod, is even a key project as well. Under construction by Beijing-based contracting firm China Harbor has an approximate investment of $930 million. These details surely do not submerge in the public view. After all, as we stated earlier, what does Israel and China have in common? Geographically and culturally, they are worlds apart. Yet for some reason, they have emerged as an important partner as of late. Then you may wonder, why? What does China see in Israel? Well, let us first understand the basics. Of course, according to China's view, they will likely, and as some media portray, state that they are interested in nothing but the growth of its economy and the technology scene of Israel. And there is truth in there. Israel is a high-tech and advanced economy. Many globally see this trend, which is why countries from North America to the EU and Asia are investing billions towards Israel. As a matter of fact, Israel is also one of the few nations that invests more than 5% of GDP into research and development. The country is even named as the startup nation after having the third most companies in the famous American stock exchange known as NASDAQ. Their companies range from mobile eye to checkpoint software and Elbit systems. China is then no outlier when it comes to investing in Israel. In fact, China lags behind compared to some of Israel's technology but is massively catching up. One of China's strategies to catch up is through mergers and acquisitions. China has a lot of capital, billions, even trillions of dollars. They have the money to buy companies around the world. Left and right, they try to acquire the largest company they can and then learn from that company and use it to their advantage. That is easy to see. After their big acquisitions in automotive, chemicals, agriculture, telecoms, and so on. But another way to view this is that Israel has always been a partner of the United States. The US has arguably been the most important foreign player in Israel. As many know, the US and China are, let's just say, not on good terms. The relationship has worsened in recent years from the Trump administration to the Biden administration. Can this be a tug of war in foreign relations? We know how China has been massively investing in Southeast Asia and Africa. They are acquiring partners after partners. For what? Well, it isn't hard to speculate that China needs friends across the world. Furthermore, the US has also frowned upon this decision. When the Haifa port was acquired, the US Navy acknowledged that its long-standing operations in Haifa may change. Now, as we come to the end of this discussion, let us understand the final thing about this report, the sum of all its trade and investments. According to the Institute of National Security Studies, China's investment and M&As in Israel reached over $9.14 billion in 2019, spread across 449 deals, majority directed in technology. Trade, on the other hand, is huge. The two countries' total trade value is a whopping $24.45 billion. These are, indeed, great times for Israel and China's relationship, but it shouldn't mean that there will be zero controversies. But anyway, do let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.